Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome Pisces to 2015 Angel Card Reading. My name is Grace and I have all my Angel Cards uh, in the front of me plus, uh, plus Grace Cards uh, from uh, Cheryl Richardson and my gorgeous Angels. So this is the last zodiac sign, right? We are the last zodiac sign. And uh, whoever likes it, please subscribe it. Please write something down uh, for me. Uh, that's how I know that you're watching, you're liking, what you're thinking. I appreciate uh, all the comments. Okay, my gorgeous, sensitive, imaginative, warm, loving, usually very optimistic Pisces. Okay, we're gonna start from the heart held other relationships, then go what's in store for us, Pisces is a surprise, surprise, and the final outcome. And let's start from our heart. What's with our partners, with our closest, nearest and dearest? What's for our health? We're going to ask Archangel Raphael how appropriate he is the healer. So what's the message for the health area for us? And then Archangel Michael, what's in the other relationships? Ooh, did you see that? They jumped out. Hmm, three of them. Okay. Pisces is a very spiritual sign and I have the Pisces energy, so maybe that's why. Something for us definitely, Archangel Michael says, to know, and I'm not going to say, no, 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 I don't want any angel messages. Of course, um, he's like my personal guardian angel, so I love him so much. Precious to me. The final, I'm sorry, not the, not the final. The surprise, 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 okay, 2015 is a very special year, please watch the video, um, what's for 2015, the highlights, it's the karmic year number 8 executive, for success too, oh yes, Wealth health should all improve, should be all actually doing a lot better in 2015, so that's good. But also for love, compassion, and you Pisces are natural on this, so it should really go swimmingly well. And we're going to see what the angels trying to show us, what we need to know. Okay, one. Oh, Archangel Raphael again. He wants to say something. Okay. Very good. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's go for the heart. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So if you have with your partner, cl closest partner, some kind of misunderstandings, maybe fights, maybe I know this, you should do this, let go. Let go of controlling anything, of teaching anybody anything, of showing anybody anything, of pushing to do anything, of pushing advice on them, okay? Because if somebody's not ready, nothing's gonna happen. Everybody needs to grow in their own way and when they going there, they learning their lessons. You cannot learn for them. We all came, doesn't matter how much we love each other, with our own destiny, with our own life lessons, okay? So, Pisces, you as a very spiritual uh, people, okay, should understand this more than anybody else. The control will not work. I always say, let it go and let it go. So, 
if you're controlling, you're really not doing them a favor and yourself because it doesn't happen the way it should happen. Maybe you're wasting even your time because you think you can control, you can change someone. No, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot. You can change yourself, the way you're feeling, the way you're thinking, yes, but not somebody else. So let go of that control. Let the things go the way it should be happening, okay? When it comes to your health, my dear Pisces, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. Inner authority. Very important. You, Pisces, should be the pro when it comes to this situation. People will tell you things. People will want you to do things. And yes, sometimes we like doormats because we love to please people. We hate conflict. We love to be in love with the war sign. We're Pisces, we dream it. We, we like to be where it's fun, where it's joy, happiness, light, love, and peace. Unity, that's what we pray for. The, the peace in the world, that's what we pray for. And we wanna be in a loving relationship when we love somebody and somebody loves us back. You, the Archangel Raphael, you have the inner knowledge, inner power to know what's good for you, what's not. Don't let anybody sway you in the wrong direction. You do know what's good for you. You, the boss of your own destiny, use it. And when you do that, it's in a health position, you will feel healthier. Because you're going to be coming from your heart and soul. You're going to be doing what you're supposed to do. So if it's somebody too negative, or if somebody is pushing you to think some way, or uh, feel some way, or tells you, no, you're wrong, you shouldn't listen to your intuition, don't listen to that. You still listen to your own intuition. You know the best, what's good for you, what feels good, what makes you feel happy. Archangel Raphael said, listen to I N, I'm sorry, I G S. In fact, I came up with this. That's what at least I think. Uh, inner guidance system. So that's what you should listen to. Okay. Now let's see for the people around, the family, friends, co-workers, etc. What Archangel Michael wants you to know. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. So focus on what you're doing. Don't worry what other, anybody else think and, and want and uh, pull you into their own drama. Forget that, okay? You have your own destiny. Do your own thing. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So if you have a problem with family, friends, the environment, ask Archangel to help you. Because he will. Hello, that's what he says, and have confidence, here is the three cards, and have confidence that you know what to do, you have that power in you, maybe they will try to discourage you because they're jealous. They're afraid of losing the power themselves. You, you're growing too big, or you're too successful, or you're too independent, and they would like you to be dependent on them. Or you're too eccentric, too different. Okay, have courage. That's your gift. That's who you truly are. And Pisces, I know you are eccentrics, I am. I'm not, I don't fit the mold. Yeah, I'm not like everybody else, so I have to admit it. And because I'm on a cusp with Aquarius, that even makes me more uh, weird. And weird is my best compliment that you can give me. Or eccentric. I love that. I don't want to be like everybody else. I just don't. I am who I am. That's the way I was born. That's the God's given gift. And I like to 
present because I'm not selfish. Be the same way. Be courageous. Be brave. Surprise, surprise for Pisces. Okay, let me look. Okay. Page of fire. Now, we are the water sign, right? Now, this is fire. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So, something wonderful will come our way. Something that needs creativity. Action. Okay? Wonderful. Oh, don't forget that... Uh, that, that being eccentric and different than everybody else, that probably is very much, I have a feeling, that comes to be. That not because you act like everybody else, but because you're brave, brave enough to be different and show off your gifts, that's exactly what, what something exciting will come. Something good, something that will really make you happy in 2015, my dear Pisces. And then... In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. So, by the fall time, I have a feeling September, October, something wonderful will happen. So, at Thanksgiving, next Thanksgiving of 2015, in November, you're going to be celebrating a great success. You're going to be really happy, my dear Pisces. Uh-huh. Yep. And empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So you see, you're going to be so powerful. With this news coming, this all opportunities, something great. And by the fall, everything kind of shows in a, a full bloom. You're going to start to feel... That may be a little too powerful. It's going to scare you. Oh my God. I really went that far. Oh, I really can be, you know, really. Ooh, I'm eccentric, but I'm getting a little, like, too scared. It's going to be big time, my Pisces. Talking about magic in 2015. Yep. It looks like it's going to be big time. So... The angels reminding you, when that happens, feel safe. You are powerful. We all more powerful than we think. Why we think that we're not? Ego. The mind that keeps us from uh, being truly uh, happy, satisfied, and joyful. Always worry. Always overthink, overheat the brain. I think this big success will come because you trust your intuition more than anybody else. You and maybe Scorpio and Cancer, okay? The water signs. You trust your intuition. You trust your gut feeling. And you believe. And you have faith. In God, in the universe, you have that big picture, and you're following. And that's where the success comes from, to the point that you're afraid. Isn't this too big? Is that even possible? That's wonderful. The final outcome. Okay. Keep your eyes open. When we decide to live a more conscious life, we see signs of grace everywhere. So, awakening. I think that that's one of the reasons that we uh, will achieve something um, great because, the, because of the awakening. We don't think like uh, many others who are left in the past and they think about past and they stuck in the past even if this is only the old energy. Because everything else is changing, evolving. And if you don't wake up and smell the new energy, you stuck. And guess what? The old energy will not work. I, I, I think I watched something with uh, Lily Mace, and um, she was talking to some lady, uh, was an interview, 
and she used an example the old energy is like watching movie in 19th Doris, okay and and being in and out 2014 2014 and like what okay the same thing the old energy before uh, 2012 and now 2015 three years later it's a totally different energy totally different dimension how about that so Pisces I think will be really good really good as acting from heart and soul with awakening and that's gonna be that's gonna bring success if you don't trust your intuition if you don't didn't forgive someone do it do it that's what comes to my mind eight of water and it's gonna be eight here water that's us emotions and eight that's the universal year 2015 uh, two one five is eight okay so is eight also karma but eight is also empowerment uh, being seen maybe in a public maybe speaking up maybe having our own business it's the year of wealth health and success a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth beautiful for the water signs and for the spiritual Pisces so it's gonna be time to move on and leave the things if you find yourself that you grew and somebody didn't uh, you ascending you awakening you ascending I used for some other sign um, an example and I gotta say the same thing here I was driving uh, to South Carolina by myself and that that's go uh, that is going through many states and uh, when you listening to one radio station in a car uh, and it was a great song once you are somewhere when the the vibe is different that the, the uh, it's uh, frequency different then my beautiful song was gone so I got to seek again for a next good song and then again was gone because I'm in a different state different place and was gone so how many times did I do it the same thing goes for our ascension our awakening we are ascending we're going higher like that balloon in November video so what happens some people are not ascending or ascending a lot slower we're gonna be losing them why we're gonna we're gonna be like speaking different languages we're speaking the same language but we can't understand each other and when that happens you will have the first sign that you're not on the same wavelength that's why you're not resonating with each other more that it just doesn't happen it's not happening it's a different frequency okay the reason why we cannot see the other side which is really honestly this side is a different dimension it's the same reason okay so where we go here is thick and when we're going it's lighter and lighter that's why someday we're gonna see each other it's gonna happen when I don't know somebody maybe knows but ascending is absolutely talking thinking actually less talking more feeling as on the other side when they come up with something they know right away okay shows up right away that's how close they are of all knowing what's going on it's telepathically talking to each other so that's what in the cards interesting and the final card Ooh, massage dear Archangel Raphael please help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments beautiful heart so um, 
take care of yourself. It's going to be, um, Archangel Raphael at the end says, you know, it's going to be very, very uh, busier, busy physically, but also emotionally, mentally. It's going to require lots of courage, lots of weeding out who is with us and who doesn't resonate with us anymore. It's going to be interesting. And then we're just going to need to take care of ourselves and take care all year because um, evolving is, um, is hard work, although we're not working. But we, we, it's not easy to know that the people that we knew for so many years, sometimes for the whole life, we cannot communicate with them anymore. We're on a different level. It's sometimes painful, not easy. Uh, but the Archangel Raphael with this beautiful smile and heart says, keep going, keep going. Take care of yourselves. Uh, reach out to people like you. So when one song goes away and you say, can you find another song that resonates with you? Yeah, reach for the new people who understand your language, who understand, who are on the same wavelength. Love you all my beautiful Pisces, it's gonna be a great year. What a year it's gonna be for Pisces. You can listen a couple times more to kind of grasp even more what's going on. I love you all. I wish you a wonderful 2015. Send you lots of virtual hugs and kisses. <laughs>